what is Google Lens? Imagine if you would that you had this magic magnifying glass that you could go throughout your day and just look at things with that magic magnifying glass and be able to Google it. That's what Google Lens is. So as you're looking around, let's say you might see a traffic sign that's in a language that you don't understand. So you would just point your magic lens at it and say, what's the translate that for me? You see a beautiful flower. What is that flower? You see a product that you want. What, what is that and where can I buy it? You see a business card and you can say, hey, please call that phone number. You don't have to dial anything. That's what Google Lens is all about. It's Googling the real world. First, on iPhone, you just use the Google search app, that G. There's you know, the bar that where you would type, type in something. Look, look at the right-hand side. That is the Google Lens button, that square with the dot in the middle. It's supposed to look like a camera lens. That is how you access Google Lens on the iPhone. Once you access it, it works exactly the same. So I'm going to be demoing on the on the Android. So I'm going to give a, a few examples here. I I bought this plant. Does it need sun or shade or there anything else that I need to know? I just tap the Google Lens button. And now I just point my phone at the plant. And note that when a blue dot appears, that's telling you, okay, I, I got it. What do you want to do? And I'll just tap the little search button. And it tells me what that plant is. Hopefully I can find one, one of these will tell me the care. I'll just tap on the first one that popped up. And it said that they are house plant, which tells me, well, here, how to grow bromeliads. I can tap on that and find out more. I've read through this before and learned that they don't need bright sun, which is good because our yard is very shaded. That is just pointing your phone with the lens app open at, at a plant. Let's say that you were at our house and we played this game. I love this game. I just think it's so much fun. <laughs> Let's say that you really liked this game too. And you say, how do I get me one? Well, with Google Lens open, you just point, point at the thing that you want and search. And there you go. It's called catchphrase and you can get it at Amazon. You just, I just tapped where it said Amazon and you can buy it for $39. Gee, I didn't think it was that much. <laughs> All right. So that's just pointing at something that you want to buy. So somebody has, somebody has a hat or shoes or something that you say, Ooh, I like those. Just lens it. Google it. <laughs> Google it. Google it. Another example of just pointing at something is we went out to a restaurant. I went to China many years ago and I brought back a menu from a restaurant there. Watch this. I go to Google Lens and there is something written in Chinese. And now at the bottom of the screen, notice where it's, it's, it still thinks that all I want to do is search. No, this time I want to translate. Notice that that's the first option on that bottom. And it does it like that. It, it just translates on the fly. Let's look at the heading up here. Chef's special introduction and street food is the name of the restaurant. Food street. Now this did have... <laughs> Yeah, this does have English translation. So let's see, it says chef recommendations. And the translation was chef's special introduction. Yeah, 
not too bad. And let's see what this dish is down here. Rooted black pepper frog pot. I'm not sure how appetizing that sounds, but there it is, braised frog's legs. Mm -hmm. Frog pot. Yeah. So, <laughs> so a little bit to get used to. And you notice that using Google Lens live is a little tricky. So that's why I kind of like the picture method the best. <laughs> now this I have to show you on the mobile device, so I will do that. I'm going to use the Android, although this works exactly on. the same on iOS or, or Android. Okay. And Google Lens obviously is a feature by Google. What is Google Lens? Google Lens is this button right here that will investigate the photo and tell you what it is. So this is a photo that we took in Arches National Park, Utah. And I think that's called the Delicate Arch, but I'm not sure. I tap on lens, it investigates the photo, and it tells me that, silly, is the Corona Arch. I told you so. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. All right. Next sample. Where is this? <laughs> I just tap the Google Lens. And now it says, well, there's several things on here. It thinks maybe we want to buy a safety vest. No, I want to know what that bridge is back there. And it says that is the Rialto Bridge. And if I click through, it would tell you that that is in Venice, Italy. Okay. More examples. What kind of bird is this? Noisy. I remember those birds. They were very, very, very noisy. Very, very noisy. <laughs> that is an Egyptian goose. And we would never have known that but for Google Lens. Uh, how about a flower? What kind of flower is that? Pretty. Just tap Google Lens. It tells me that's a purple passion flower. But there's, there's more. See this sign here? This was a sign at a Civil War park where we were at in Mississippi somewhere. And notice there's a QR code here. I can make that a little bit bigger. And if I do Google Lens, it will read that QR code and take me to wherever it was. So it's a video. You were supposed to scan that code while you're standing there in the park in the hot sun and watch this video about where you are. But no, all you have to do is take a picture of it and you can watch it anytime by using Google Photos and Google Lens. A business card. If I do Google Lens on a business card, I can even tap where her phone number is and Google Photos will make a phone call based on the phone number that it sees in a picture. It will also, if you want, it will add that as a contact to your contact. I just want to dial the number once in a while. This is Chinese characters. I want to know what those Chinese characters say. Google Lens, tap Translate, and there we go. It takes the Chinese characters and translates into English. And the last example is, here's a whole newspaper clipping. I would like the text of that newspaper clipping to put into a blog post. Google Lens, text, select all, copy text. Now I can go anywhere else and paste. There is the complete text of that newspaper article in editable form. I think that is just amazing. And that is Google Lens, which is just built in to Google Photos.